Hi everyone, in this video we're going to teach you how you can insert a new row at the bottom of your tabular data set by using a macro which is single click. Okay, so if you are new to Excel macros what you'll need to do before you carry on with this video is follow this quick playlist here to get started. If you don't do that you won't be able to follow along with the rest of the tutorial. So if you haven't done that please go ahead and do so. Now we'll get started. Okay, so we've set up an example here today. We've created a macro which will insert a new row at the bottom of our data set. Okay, so you can see here we've got just a list of data and usually at the bottom of your table you have totals or other information that you calculate from the data that resides above there. So if we press our macro button you will see it inserts a row at the bottom of our data set. If we was now to enter some data into there and we click it again, you can see it does exactly the same. So it's really handy if you're working in this kind of format. So how do we do this? So I'm going to show you the code. I'm going to open up our macro. We click developer, design mode, and then double click our macro. It's actually a very simple two sets of code. Now, what this macro relies upon is the cell that you're looking at containing data. So you can see here we've got range A. It then does a count, and what it does is it finds the last cell that contains data. What it then does is insert a row at that point. All right. Now, this is all essentially you need to do. One thing I want to clarify with you is if you are shifting your table across, then you would need to adjust this within the macro. And all you would need to do is, if we look back at our data, if your table resides here, so the column A is blank, you would therefore need to reflect that in this section of code by changing this letter to B. So if you have shifted it across for whatever reason, formatting reasons, etc., you need to reflect that by changing this letter here. Everything else can be left exactly as it is. So all you need to do is copy and paste this code between private sub and end sub when you edit your macro. If you need to, edit this letter and you're pretty much good to go. Now we'll paste this code in the description of this video. And that's it. If this video has helped you, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you have already done so, thank you very much. If you have any questions or comments, please pop them in the comment section below. And we'll see you next time.